Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Oscar and I'm going to be your host for this evening, this video, whenever you're watching in the morning, good morning, you look beautiful. Look, today's adventure is taking us to post uh, Houston, which is like a food court with like a really cool uh, roof with a, a scenic view of downtown Houston. And uh, we're headed there in particular because on the first Saturday of every month they host a Cars and Coffee which uh, I've been going to them for like the past maybe like five, six months and I've been enjoying them a lot so I'm like I'm gonna start making videos and it's consistent content so I practice my photography and we get a cool video out of it so this weekend uh, is was well this Saturday was Porsche day so for the most part that's what we're gonna go look at and uh, I hope you enjoy this video um, if you do stick around subscribe like comment tell me which picture you liked let's go wait 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 wait, wait. Oh, the, oh yeah focus on me focus on me uh i forgot to press record on the gopro on the opening shot so uh we're just gonna see the picture and then like uh it's just gonna continue going all right well enjoy Okay, so something uh, I learned through street photography is that there's no better feeling than catching a great moment and you just feel like all the worlds, the planets aligned for you, the stars were in, you know, they were guiding your way, you believe in any of that. But, you know, this, this picture is a good example of that because I love how all the different colored cars, the yellow, the blue, and the red are all meeting in the center. But I just wish the blue car was a little bit more to the side, which doesn't take anything away from the image. I still think it's a great picture, but you know, we, we I'm always gonna be left with, uh, you know, like not not it's not a perfect picture, <laughs> but nothing really is, I guess. Now focus on the green car. So this beauty to my left is actually the reason why you should why you should subscribe. Uh, that's my dream car. That's an NSX. And at some point, I was like, buy a new car or buy a 40 year old NSX. And uh, I chose to be a responsible adult, and I've regretted it ever since. So subscribe.
uh, the vapor says, I identify as a Porsche. And me being a woke king, I'm all like, whatever you say, Sally. Did you guys see the moment we captured between those two bros? <laughs> That's just just what happens. It's just like it was a perfect moment we just captured. Maybe I was wrong about the last picture. part there uh, this is a photography video not a dance video but <laughs> they were all incredible and I ended up taking like over a thousand pictures and it's really hard to capture motion in still shots so for the sake of me feeling like I, I'm presenting my best work I think we're gonna get it there but uh, yeah that was, that was pretty cool I don't really know who won I walked away but uh, it, I was the real winner there because I got to see them and, you know, made this. So eventually I got bored of taking uh, pictures of just like well, normal pictures so I decided to, to step outside of my comfort zone and try something new and I started messing with the shutter speed to capture, capture some of the motion blur in the images and uh, I think it went pretty good. Look, check this out. Guys, I'm about to unveil my magnum opus. My this is my Abbey Road. 
Okay, this is by far probably like the my favorite picture I've ever taken, and I'm so glad that uh, I decided to to take a chance because I had never really bothered taking pictures like this, and uh, I am so happy with this. I I might blow it up and like make prints of it. I think it's so good. So, without further ado, my magnum opus. So walking around um, the the parking lot, you notice how many people are there with their cameras, and I just like the idea of trying to be different than everybody else. So I don't know if you guys know this in my my photography, I bring in a lot of the street photography stuff into it because car photography it's pretty much all the same. Everybody takes the exact same pictures, you know. Some people are just better at it than others. Uh, and I don't think I'm, I'm anywhere near them, but what I do bring to the table is uh, how, how different it is with my framing, uh, my compositions. I like people standing in the way. I like getting them out of focus in my images, and I think that makes it for a completely different image than just the car itself. So, uh, I, I, it's just like there's so many cameras there. It makes you feel intimidating, uh, intimidated, because you see people with like giant rigs, people with more expensive cameras than you, people who you know who look like they know what they're doing. And I'm not a professional by any means. I'm just like a hobbyist, and I I've been enjoying this. So I decided to make videos, but uh, just 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 try to bring your unique uh, flavor. To, to your photography and uh, hopefully you know you eventually get recognized for it and yeah uh, thank you for watching